The next event that's going to happen, though, is what is known as the 16th Street Baptist Church bombing. Now, what's going to happen is all of this change is going to impact people that are going to say, we're going to stop this, and we're going to stop it with violence. So we're going to stop all these protests by making them want to go back to segregation. Now, what happens is, is that here in the United States, we're going to have this massive upswing in racism, especially following all of this riots and people getting more rights. And people are going to say, no, you can't do that. Well, one day, this guy right here, he's going to tell his granddaughter, just wait until Sunday morning and they'll beg us to let them segregate. Well, what happens is, is that he's going to go to a church that's having a church service. And it's on a Sunday, and he walks in, and down in the basement, there's going to be a little nursery. And this little nursery is going to have a bunch of kids. And he's going to set off a bomb that's going to explode, and it's going to kill four people, and additionally, hurt about 30 people in this church. Now, he's going to say he did this to show that African Americans should not have rights. This is not okay. And his goal was to be able to scare these African Americans and stop them from protesting. Well, Martin Luther King Jr. tells that father's guy, who we've talked about again, he says, the blood of our little children is, in, is on your hands. You're at fault for this, for not expanding rights in this area. Now, this leads to the passage of the 24th Amendment. The 24th Amendment is going to eliminate what is known as a poll tax. Now, a poll tax is going to be that in order to be able to vote, you are going to be able to uh, have to pay a tax. Basically, it's showing that you're educated enough to be able to vote. Now, these poll taxes in today's money are around $100. So imagine if you had to pay $100 to vote. A lot less people would do it. Now, not everybody had to pay the poll taxes. Only people they suspected of not having enough money. Who is that going to be? African Americans. So you had to pay this poll tax in order to vote. Well, what happens is, is that these poll taxes were deemed unconstitutional and the 24th amendment is going to, or 24th amendment is going to ban them. Now, the idea was that this poll tax was really just another form of discrimination. So we're getting rid of these discriminatory practices in America, which leads us to the last thing for the day, which is known as the Freedom Summer. Now, the Freedom Summer had the goal that it was going to advocate for people to be able to learn and get past these poll taxes are what is known as a literacy test. You used to have to be able to prove that you knew how to read in order to take these tests. So the Freedom Summer is going to encourage a massive amount of people to be able to vote. Because now the poll taxes are gone, all of you can be able to vote. Now what happens is, is that they're going to open up these freedom schools. And these freedom schools are going to have the goal that they are going to teach you how to be able to know what to do in order to pass these tests. And then massively expense voting in America. Now, on the other side, people are going to say this is not what we want, right? We need to stop these African Americans from being able to vote. And it's going to cause a lot more tension and violence in America following this time. So we're going to stop there.